Hi, I hope you're having an amazing day. As you saw from the title of this video, today we're gonna to be doing mini reviews on all of the best seller products on the Shamase website. Basically, I'm gonna be letting you guys know, are these products really good or are they just saying it, you know, and adding them to the best seller list just to sell them because I have to say a couple of these products are not that great. Some of them are worth the hype, but others are like, mm, mm, no. They could be reformulated or redone altogether because yeah, some of these don't really work that well. So if you wanna see what those products are, of course, just keep on watching. But before that, don't forget, if you like drugs and makeup, go ahead and stick around, subscribe, maybe hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. And if you could like the video, if you like it, and the video is gonna start right now. All right, so let's get the brow products out of the way. The first one is the Awe Studio Slim Brow. So if you guys have been on my channel, you guys know I have so many backups of this product, specifically the one in Ebony. That's the one that I purchase most often. I have to say I haven't really been into these types of slim brow pencils in a while because I was really into the Chamasse Amuse brow pencil amazing in dark brown but i do have a lot of these aoa studio slim brows again this is really nice there was a time where i was really obsessed with this type of pencil however i've noticed that it just breaks so easily so like upon a first application when i first got it i loved it this is the shade ebony yeah it's a really nice color it matches my hair really nicely however i just don't find myself reaching for this type of product anymore because again i find that it breaks too easily on me and i just i don't know what it is the other brow product that i have is the Awe studio sculpting brow pencil and this one i believe is also in the shade ebony and basically this is a like triangle shape kind of situation now this one another one that i find myself not reaching for it is a little deeper in shade i'm um, really nice however it's a little waxy for my brows so i don't know what it is about these two but right now in this moment i haven't been into them but who's to say that in a couple of months or whatever i'm not going to be obsessed with them again but for now i'm honestly not really reaching for them but if you're into a slim brow pencil this is good you just really do have to take a light hand because it breaks really easily and then this product is pretty waxy on the brows i haven't used it in such a long time i do need to bring it out again we need to do a full face of chamasse soon because i don't really remember my thoughts on it i just remember not really loving it Let's talk about the awa studio perfect eyeshadow primers i have two of them here both of them are in the best sellers list i have the one in glow which i already know glowy type of eyeshadow bases are not my favorite but also the nude one is in this video because i don't love it this is just not a great primer and honestly it blends out to nothing it's just like throwing it on for no apparent reason it has just a little bit of color I just don't really love it and sometimes it does dry down a little patchy on the eyes so that's why i don't like the nude one but the glow one specifically is because i don't like glowy eyeshadow bases like what's some other way to use it because i don't need a glowy eyeshadow primer but for some reason i keep purchasing them again the nude one i thought would work a little better but i just don't like the formula it's not that great and i do like their other eyeshadow primers that come in the squeezy tube a little better than these so i would say skip out on them if you see them on the website so let's talk liquid liner these i've talked about so much on my channel i've raved about them the artista liquid liners i have three shades to show you guys but i do own every single shade that they have on their site not sure if they're available right now but they're always restocking them i have the shade green i have the brown one which does tend to be a little liquidy for me and then the purple which is my favorite so i'm going to give them a little swatch for you these are really nice now again this is the green i love that it's not like a neon light green it's the perfect forest green shade shade it's really nice and the applicator is a brush tip applicator I have the brown one which again tends to be a little liquidy but you can build it up as you go really nice as well perfect for those everyday type of looks and then we have the purple up here like that deep kind of purple moment it's so nice and i use it all the time it's such a perfect liner i love these little liners from chamasse and they're only one dollar they work great again they're a brush tip applicator they're really easy to use especially when i'm going to work in the morning i reach for these so often so if you see these on the chamasse bestsellers list know that they are really great and they are a bestseller i hear a lot of people raving about these products here next let's 
type of mascara so i do own the aoa studio fat lash primer mascara and also the aoa studio fat lash mascara so this one only comes in one color which is this one and this one's so nice it works so amazing i raved about it so much on my channel you guys have heard me talk about this product so much it's really nice for a one dollar mascara also compared to their like colorful mascaras that i'll have on the screen their wisp enhancing mascaras this one works 10 times better so i'd say pick this one up instead and i really like the wand on this product as well it's so nice and it just works so well at lifting it also adds a little bit of length now it isn't a mascara that i would use on its own for work like when i'm not wearing lashes but you know it's nice especially when paired with the primer mascara this works so well basically it's a white mascara it looks like that now the wand looks a little different looks a little scary basically this is a primer for your lashes so you go ahead and throw it on it leaves your lashes white and then you go over top with a black mascara whatever color you want it's a little more volume it adds a little length just to prep your mascara game to add a little more fullness to your lashes as well so this is really nice so if you are looking for mascaras on the website definitely look at the fat lash mascaras because these work so well again especially compared to the wisp enhancing ones which are more of a kind of natural everyday moment these actually do something to your lashes so these i recommend definitely 100 percent i forgot to include this one but this is a with studio skinny under lash mascara also part of that same line this is so amazing and this is a under lash mascara this one is new to me because i finished up my last one but basically comes with a teeny tiny little brush for your under lashes it limits any smudging that's going to go on especially if you're in a hurry it's just a perfect size for the lower lashes you can definitely wiggle it around and make sure you get every single one it's just such a great product and again only one dollar so amazing amazing let's talk about a primer that's on the best sellers list this is a with studio wonder skin perfecting blur primer so what you can't really see in the picture on their website is there is little glitter specks in this product not sure if you're going to be able to see but when you do get it in you can definitely see it's clear and there is glitter specks in there which i believe it just adds some glowiness to the skin is what i'm thinking i haven't used this one in a while but from what i remember it was just okay again we do have to do a full face of aoa studio again on my channel i did do it once before which is going to be linked down below if you want to watch it i do have so much aoa studio makeup that i have to get through but this is definitely one that i just reach for least in my collection and i do own a couple of different versions of this primer yeah this one's just kind of under the radar i don't know what it is it doesn't really blur the skin it's just like a silicone -y kind of primer so i say if you're in the market for a primer and you're thinking of just throwing this in your cart why not sure go ahead it's really nice but it's not something to write home about i'd say it's just like it's okay let's talk about concealer this is a with studio liquid concealer and this one's in the shade nude i just went ahead and finished up my other concealer in the shade buff which is very light on me so this one is more suited for my skin tone and my under eyes and it doesn't make me look too bright go ahead and try out these new ones from their website these are the a studio top secret concealers this is the shade buff so this is how light the other concealer was so i did finish that up and this is basically the same concealer is just in a potted version so i do have that on my under eyes today but this one here and the tubes are actually really nice and they blend out so easily i feel like with the color corrector it just blends in so effortlessly and it just adds coverage but on its own it's also very nice and really nice coverage so if you're into that medium to full coverage under eye these are really nice you can also build it up little by little when you're working with this product it's definitely a little bit goes a long way with it so you can definitely blend it in with your finger if you want you can blend it in with the sponge it's just a really nice product and there's a look at the applicator so it's basically just a little squeezy tube and this little tube even though it looks small it lasts such a long time so the other one it took me a while to finish up yeah so i definitely can't wait to start using the one in nude this is just one again that suited more for my skin tone so if you're looking at those concealers definitely try them out we have a couple of their foundations i have the aoa studio a plus buildable satin foundation this is really nice however the shade that i own in honey beige is a little orange on me so i haven't been reaching for this product as often but i have to say this is a nice light to medium coverage foundation it's not full at all now you can definitely build it up to be but it's going to take a while especially if you're using a sponge it does come with a little dropper which i'm not the biggest fan of i just go ahead and kind of slide it you know all over the skin instead of using the dropper because it tends to be a little messy 
but this is a really nice product it also is featured in the best sellers list we have the aoa studio perfect bb cream i do have a bb cream on my skin today which is actually from the dollar tree and this is a new color bb cream i have that again on the skin today so it's really nice really buildable however i find myself not reaching for the aoa studio one and this one's in i believe this is the medium one i don't know what it is it's just so messy it's just always getting all over the place it's just not something that i reach for often i don't remember my thoughts on it i remember it just looking a little light on my skin but i haven't reached for it since then i even added this to a shot my stash i don't i believe it was for like october or something last year and i didn't touch it at all so yeah i have to bring it back out we have to try it again because from what i remember it's just not the greatest thing so i don't reach for it these two products are actually in my shot my stash for the month of february which is a pseudo pro wear full coverage foundations these are definitely full coverage i use them all the time on instagram so if you want to see how they look definitely check it out over there they are definitely full coverage really nice I'm not the biggest fan of the actual packaging but for the price these are a steal and they work amazing i love mixing these two together which is the shade honey beige which is a little too orange on me and also the shade natural beige which is a little too light on me so i just mix them both together to create my perfect shade and they're just really nice definitely if you're a full coverage kind of person check these out we have a couple of their powders which also are featured on the best sellers list these are their perfect setting powders i have two shades we have the shade banana and the shade matte translucent i feel like these are not the greatest powders in the world i have other powders that work better i have one from the dollar tree that's the hard candy loose powder that works amazing it's so mattifying it looks great on my skin because again i have oily skin if you didn't know basically i don't love these for all over the face but i do want to try them out for setting my under eyes maybe that's a way that i can use them up but if they let's say run out or if they fall over or whatever and i don't have these anymore in my collection it's not a product that i would have missed so yeah these are just kind of a flop for me but i am going to try to use them up in the upcoming you know in this year or the upcoming months let's talk lip products so these are the awa studio balm skin rescue so i have this one here which is the mint and i have the watermelon which is basically new i never use this one i was working through the mint one this is just a product that you can use on your lips or you can use them on your any problem areas where you have really dry skin let's say like your elbows your knees any of those places you can use these products and it's basically going to provide hydration i don't really love them for my lips because they are such a thick product they're extremely hard to squeeze out of here and they're just like really thick so i'm not into this type of product for my lips but i'm definitely going to try to use them up again this is a product that i wouldn't miss if they were no longer in my collection so i'm kind of like me about these products let me know how you use them down below if you own them but i'm kind of like they're just kind of sitting there and i'm not using them they're not in my routine at all again i was trying to get through this one last year and i just kind of forget about it it's not great i don't know i don't really use it now these i go through so often the hand creams the aoa studio shea butter hand cream i have the one in lavender and i have the vanilla i mentioned these in on my chamasse hauls a lot because i purchase them so often i like throwing them in my backpack in my fanny pack for work in my purse just to have them around because i have really dry skin and i tend to get i have like a dry patch here on my hand like i always have to have lotion on me so that's why i purchase these and they work amazing and they're really travel friendly this is definitely the type of lotion that i would take to travel with me if i were traveling at the moment um, but they're also perfect just for that everyday kind of life moment to have in my car to have in my purse all of that so definitely a great lotion and it blends in really nicely really easily it's not one that lingers or they have to really like built into the skin it like sinks into the skin within seconds so this is an amazing formula and also comes in different scents so now we could get into the tool products that are on the best sellers list let's get this one out of the way this is the aoa studio makeup remover cleansing wipes and this specific one is in cucumber they also have the original they have the pink one in the best sellers list as well no these are just not great i always purchase them because i think oh yeah let me try them again for swatches or whatever but they're extremely dry they don't work for my face at all i cannot use this to remove any of my makeup now when i do use them for like removing swatches you have to really rub it into the skin to get the makeup off it's just not the greatest product so this is definitely one that i always talk about i'm really open about the fact that i don't like these um wipes however there's always one or two packs in my collection because i feel like i can make them work but then when i 
have them they're just not that great so yeah that's that next product is their pawpaw sponge this is like the first product in the bestsellers list at the top this is amazing if you're into um just blending out your foundation your concealer your cream products whatever it is with a sponge definitely check out the pawpaw sponge when you wet it it just get bigger it's such a beautiful sponge I'm really obsessed with this one and also the one from Ioni. I, have, I feel like they're the same kind of consistency. They're extremely bouncy and light on the skin. They don't soak up a lot of product. So if you're in the market for a new sponge, that is not going to break the bank because it's literally like $1 or $1.55 or something. It's really inexpensive. Definitely pick that up. We have a couple of other products here i have the away studio lash curler which also i noticed is in the bestsellers list amazing if you're looking for a lash curler girl yes this is literally super inexpensive and it works so well i love the fact that it has that kind of padding here or i don't know what it is it just makes it more comfortable to use and it just grabs every single lash perfectly i love it i love using that for work i also have my lash essentials here i have my away studio a plus super lash adhesive specifically the clear one which is actually right here i use this today um but this is just for reference i have the black one as well i don't really love this one as much but the clear one for sure is my like 100 percent pick it up if you're a lash beginner especially this is definitely what got me into wearing lashes a lot more often and it just makes it more comfortable if you're a person who likes a black lash glue they also offer that as well i'm not the biggest fan of this one just because if you do make a mistake and place it in the wrong place then you get that black kind of smudge on your eye which is why i'm not you know this is just not the one that i reach for often but the clear one is definitely more foolproof for me and also the airway studio um, lash applicator i love these i love these so i do own the pink one which i honestly have to i might have to clean it up because it's so dirty but this is the one that i use a lot and it's always next to me it's definitely what got me into wearing lashes along with that lash glue and it just makes it so easy and it's just so easy to use you're not hurting your fingers it's really nice it places the lash specifically where you want it and it makes it like adjusting it really easy so this is definitely something i recommend and it's definitely a bestseller for a reason because it's really good so we made it to the end i hope you enjoyed watching as much as i did filming this video today everything that i talked about on the names of the prices are going to be down below i'm also going to link everything so if you are interested in anything that i mentioned definitely check out the description box down below also have linked down below any videos that i mentioned throughout this specific video all of those are going to be in the description box as well so if you want to see those i also have a shamase playlist everything and this is in the description box below again don't forget to upload three times a week on tuesday thursday and sunday so if you could stick around that would be amazing i'll have my insta handle this way on the screen i post a lot of makeup finds from jokes at a high end so the entries you go ahead and follow me there and it'd be so amazing if you could like and subscribe of course you don't have to you're your own person and you may want to decisions but it wouldn't hurt to get this video like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye